it can be annoying to open up the YouTube application and begin playing some music only to be blasted at because you had recently set up the volume to max for another application or game. The same can be said for those times when you set the volume too low and it takes you a while before you end up figuring it out. This is where Sound Assistant comes into play for Samsung Galaxy smartphones and tablets. Sound Assistant is a module for the Good Lock application that offers a feature which allows you to set a custom volume limit for specific applications. For those unfamiliar with the Good Lock app for Samsung devices only, be sure to check the video description below as I'll have a link to a previous tutorial I did that details how to get it set up and installed on your smartphone or tablet. Once we have Good Lock installed on our device, we can open it up. And as you saw, we need to tap the Family tab down there at the bottom. And then we're going to tap the blue down arrow icon next to the Sound Assistant module which will begin the installation process. Once installed, you'll see that down arrow changed just like this. And we can then open it up by simply tapping on the animation that you see there. Sound Assistant doesn't look like your typical application. Instead, it looks like an extension of the settings application so that once you have opened it, you're given a menu of options to choose from. And today we're gonna to be focusing on the individual app volumes feature right here. So we can come into this sound assistant menu, select the individual app volumes feature. And here we're, we can set the individual app volume levels right here. We have a big blue plus button down here at the bottom right. Once we tap it, it's going to generate us a list of the applications we have installed on our device. So if, for example, we wanted to use YouTube, we select YouTube and tap the Add button right there. It's going to take us back to the previous page where we see the YouTube app listed in this list. We can go back here and add other apps. We can add multiple apps. And you can see they're all listed here in individual rows. So let's say, for example, we wanted Chrome to be absolutely silent when we used it. All we have to do is drag this volume slider to 0% for the Chrome application. And now anytime we use Chrome, Samsung will set the volume level to 0%. And we can do similar things with the other apps here as well. If, again, for example, we wanted the YouTube application to be kind of low so that we don't get too high a volume whenever we play something, we can set that volume right there. YouTube music may be a little bit more predictable, so some people are more comfortable having this a little bit higher when it comes to volume. We can customize our individual app volumes right here in the Sound Assistant application. The individual app volume option is something that many people have been asking Google to build into the Android operating system for years now. It's something Samsung has spent some time ironing out all of the wrinkles and it's quite useful for those who constantly find themselves scrambling to adjust the volume for various apps or games. If you're interested in this feature but do not have a Samsung device, then you'll be happy to hear that we can replicate this feature with a few popular automation apps for Android. I did a separate video about this using MacroDroid for those who are curious and you can find that link in the video description as well.